There we go, you're just off a long episode for those of you that watch these on YouTube, Twitch. Those of you that are here, thanks for hanging out with us. We're off to do the last part of Moira's quest. And we're going to start Operation Anchorage, but we're going to make two side tracks right quick. Which are that we're going to go and turn in these teddy bears for some more caps. And things, and see if there's metal armor sitting around in the pit. And we're going to go to the Deathclaw Sanctuary super quick to get a... Uh, a little more health and then we're gonna do operation acreage Rob co production facility is not that where we're going Travel to the pit. I know that there's like multiple endings to this quest. Many different things can happen based upon what we do, which is interesting. Uh, I'm back. Also, the new game mode is great. In For Honor? What's going on with the new game mode? If you posted a really long one, uh, let me see it again, Jeremiah. I didn't see it. All I see is also the new game mode is great. This guy's in good shape right here. Impact. Alright, it seems like there was a lot of metal armor in this DLC that we passed up because it was heavy. But that now that we know that that's what's used to repair the samurai armor. Yep, uh, it's fun. Basically storming the enemy castle. That's cool. Is it PvP still or is it a PvE mode? Billy. It's like life's really improved here for the slaves. PvP. Cool. You're all pretty busy getting this place back in shape. What do you want? You don't like us? Here you go. Thanks. Any bears from Miria? No idea how much this will help. Here's your pay. Well, she didn't really pay us that much. And but you get quite a bit of XP. Blood samples to run. It's like they're really enjoying. Wonder how little baby Moira is enjoying her life of experimentation. She's not even in there anymore. Oh yeah, she is. Her life's truly been made miserable. Can we put some stuff in here? It seems to me like there was metal armor through this place. One quick scan. That still doesn't solve our samurai helmet problem. Maybe we'll find good armor in uh, Operation Anchorage. Some decent XP though for doing the teddy bears. The caps suck though. Not very many of those. I gotta go through here and get these metal ingots. Latest on Saturday. We're pretty much there on these achievements. And we'll be able to say one out of three done. I'm going to loot it up because I've got empty pockets and I'll probably do a drop off. Oh shit.
We skipped over some stuff. There's some sort of sound coming from the wall. I think you might have ice. Makes it sound like the pollution of the pit was already starting to produce Torgs before the war even started. It's not really so much about the war, it's about just how polluted Pittsburgh was pre-war. That's what I get out of the audio logs in this one. Requires key. Oh, I wonder if Harris supply key is the right key. Holy shit. We missed all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to clean this place out, like I said, because our going here is so few and far in between. There's tons of buff out in the pit, too. All right, we got about 40 more pounds we can take. We'll jump into Uptown real quick, see if anything's there. Then we're going to head to Robco. It seemed like a lot of the slavers wore metal armor. I thought they did. Sounds like their life's even more miserable now that we've, uh, are done with them. Sunglasses, though. Why? Cannot repair past 100%. Well, then when will you be able to repair them when they're completely broke? Swords. We left a lot of shit behind, you know that? We took only the most valuable stuff in our run through this. Just a flesh wound, that's right. Yo. Hey. Earthum. Barbarian. What's good, man? Thank you for being here. How is Nebraska today? Oh my. Look who it is. Look who it is. Whoa. Hey. Oh, shit. Hey. Waffly! Welcome. Kay Waffly is a fantastic person. She'll make you laugh. She'll make you cry. She'll make you smile. She's a very talented streamer. A special person. With a great community. That loves her. So join that community. It is worth 60s today. Nice, a good one. Hell yeah, pretty nice here too. We had a really hard frost last night though, with a power outage. It was great. Oh, we got down to like 50 in this basement. But those are good sleeping conditions, honestly. That's the good side of that. Real easy to sleep when it's like that. Whiskey. Well, I guess I was just, like, completely and totally wrong. There's more trogs. Where's my best Aussie? She is the best Aussie. She's the best Aussie. She comes from the land down under. And she's the best of them. Our favorite Aussie. 
Thank you for being here. Waffly. It's like, what, 8 in the morning for you? It's even earlier? Are you getting less and less sleep now? Yo, T. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything? T. Diddy, thank you for being here. That's Kentucky, and you know. I guess the trogs must respawn. All three had dirty water. Rip. That's actually a good thing, because they seem to have bobby pens pretty commonly. We're back in the pit, gang, because I'm trying to see if any of these guys left metal armor behind so we can repair our samurai armor. And it's not looking good. We're on the very last part of the survival guide, and we're about to start Operation Anchorage. I updated on the Discord our plan here for Fallout 3. We are very close. But we need to get some more power for our character here as we're getting into the end game. As we're running into a lot of overlords. And the like. Enclave people that are all high level. And we gotta be able to take some deeps and deal some deeps. You know, I'm not seeing any. I am not seeing any. Let's go to the steel yard and see what we see, but beyond that, looks like we're out of here. Wah! Not pancakes, they are waffles, damn it! <laughs> Nine in the morning. Well, good morning. Good morning, Waffly. Let's go to these frogs. Respawn though. More ignits? Oh shit. Here I thought I had exhausted my search. We really didn't have that many more to find. Morning Panda. <laughs> there are waffles, damn it. More ignits? I feel like every time we pop in here, we see one or two more ignits. I think we're supposed to get metal armor from. We must have left something behind. And I think the place we would have left it behind is Wild Bill. We would have left it behind is... What if we can go, go past that one place? The arena. Let's check there, too. And let's definitely get the hell out of here. Yeah, this episode's going to stretch out if I don't hustle it up. It's cool there where I am right now. Uh, to 47 degrees. Damn, it's getting cold in Kentucky. Run for heat? Wow. Run the heat for a while. We've been running the heat here pretty consistently. But it was fairly nice today, so it's like, it's weird. It was really, really warm here in Ohio, and then Hurricane Michael hit, and it was just like, hey, fall's here. I wonder if you're supposed to be able to even go over there. Because I'm worried you are. And if that's the case, then it's going to be really hard to find the ignits. Because it looks like you should be able to go there. In fact, it looks like it leads back down into... Hey, why don't we try reaching it from the opposite side? There's like a staircase over there. That is inaccessible. Huh. 
Weird. Oh wait, look. Is that not an ignit? You gotta be able to get up there. It's just fucking broke, I guess, because look, that is definitely ignits. How in the shit do we get over there then? If that floor is glitched, that what the shit? What? Huh? Who? Where? When? How? There's apparently a trog out there too. Well, that sucks. A dead hooker before. I don't know what to do about that situation. We're mostly here because I thought I left some metal armor behind. That was a de dead slave, did he? Nearly the same thing. Oh, I glitch. It's frustrating. Means we'd have to do probably a fresh run of the DLC with the other character we have. Not right now, but we want to finish this up. Where even are you? We're not the scab. And where are you? Where are you, scary person? Oh, there you are. We rule this place. We're also looking for a man opener. And back to work. See if we left anything in the arena. If not, then go down the hall, take a right, look in the locker for the golden treasure. Is that true though? Be right back, refreshing see you soon, Waffly. Well, so I know you found all the all the the ignits in the pit. Are we supposed to be able to go over there, or is that broken for a reason? There we go. Metal Master Armor. Okay, now let's get rid of some... I know we picked up some shitty misc. I'm sure we can clean ourselves out. Welcome back, Waffly. I don't know. What, T-Diddy? Grab some like really shitty aid too, like got dandy boy apples, fancy lad snacks. This can all go junk food. We can just use that line congressional style. All right, let's get the hell out of here. To the Robco production facility we go, and then Death's Claw Sanctuary for a bobblehead. And then it is off to Operation Anchorage. We should be able to finish it tonight. Yo, young son, thank you for that Nexus cat hype, Adam. Welcome back, man. With a runny nose full. Full. Shit, I, I, I don't understand. Oh, wow, that's fucking gross. Damn, T. Diddy. That's truly a dirty joke. Truly. Yo, young son! It's good, Adam. Welcome here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We just got done enduring T. Diddy's dirty joke. Fucking zero to a hundred on that joke. Adam's a great streamer. He's a fantastic guy. Consider him a friend. He's a fellow Ohio and a Cleveland guy. He's really good at video games. Plays Vermintide. Plays Paladins. Battleborn. He's about to play Overkill's The Walking Dead. He always keeps up to date on the latest and greatest in gaming news. And if you don't like his opinion, you just show up. Ten minutes later, you might just get a new one. Thank you, Waffle, for that Nexus, cat I. Let's get the hell out of here. How do we leave?
The fact that we can't go up that ramp, that we keep glitching through the floor. I want to know if that is meant to be happening. We found one metal master armor. I thought we had, like, an abundance of it. I was gonna put our samurai armor up through the roof. That is not even remotely the case. Back to our base. 20 minutes into this episode, we can do the Robco facility. We should be able to. I know there's multiple endings to this one we're coming up on. Uh, an error occurred. Please try again later. Huh. Even when you did the extra work to have the bot fixed, Will, so it still decided to fuck you. Yes. Yes. Oh, is the stream still good? Okay. Going back down to chapter three. I know there's multiple endings here and I want to be on it. Yes. Thank you, T-Diddy. I can't believe Expansion Pass content for D2 is fucking free with Forsaken. Such bullshit, dude. Typical Bungie. They're trying to do you a solid, but what they're really saying is, Hey, you OG people who bought into the game from the beginning. Here's this thing. Okay, Robco. Here we go. If you have the... Da -da -da -da. Upon reaching the mainframe and installing the widget, every robot in the facility will activate and become hostile. To complete the objective, you need a science skill of at least 50 to hack the, main, the mainframe. Oh, shit. We're gonna need more big books of science, then. Wait, aren't you dead? Hey, take a load off. What's on your mind? I'm supposed to be in charge of this place. You just wait. Why don't you reward me more often? I don't feel like a slaver, even though we've captured like 35 people. It's true, we need to get that brain big. That's so true. Have you ever had a dream? Not what I wanted. Oh, there's an area to the... You know, isn't this the Robco production facility up here? Problem is we're full. We don't want to get too curious. Yo, big sick triple six. Thank you for being here, big sick. Big sick is a natural entertainer. He's a performer. He's a thespian of the first degree. He has got a good personality, a great personality, even very funny, good sense of humor, great community. Check him out. Consider him a friend. He's a talented streamer as well. Lots of good streamers in here. Young Sun 15, Big Sick Triple Six, and K Waffley are all talented streamers. And you should join their community, because your life will be better. And I'm sure you want a better life. Hey, okay, Waffle, thank you for that Nexus Cat Hype. It'll be made better by the joy you receive of entertainment. I'm still gonna find the marker, though. Is that a trap? We need to figure some ways out to spam our morale up. You fucking robots. Your robot ways. Don't worry, Damien has the hooves of a goat. He can walk sideways up a mountain. Mr. Gutsy, I represent no country. I represent an underworld called Hell. Where you can experience eternal damnation if you had a soul. Ayah! Oh snap, looks like a YouTube video. Reddit, YouTube comments, YouTube broken for anyone else. Oh shit. YouTube actually broke, that's weird. Never thought I'd see the day that YouTube was down. That's weird. That, that's true, that like never happens. It's back up. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not quite back up. No, it's it's back up. No, it's down. It's sorta of back up. One third's the way back. I can vouch for the I have loads of fun there. Nice. 
was broke all day today. Really? Damn, must, must be a thing going on right now. Things are breaking. It happens sometimes. It's fucked. Yeah, I see that. Weird. Wonder what finally got it down. Where are we? Poor Constantine. We need to get up on the roof so we can fast travel. There's plenty of loot here that we could get, but now is not the time. We're about to hit level 22. 20 is we are on the cusp of 20. Oh, go to heal. Survival guide is almost mandatory for any Fallout 3 playthrough, I feel like. You just get so many good little passives and items. We need to get up on the roof so we can kill the robots and fast travel out of here. Uh, I can tell you right now the other day... How the other end of that YouTube era is very puckered booty hole cussing itself into implosion. <laughs> Yo, Gilbert! Here, we'll give you a proper one. Fuck. There you go. Oh, man. Watch out. Yo. Gilbert! What's good, Gilbert? Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. There we go. Clear the top, then we can fast travel out. <laughs> deals with commie maggots. Yeah, this one's got some health. It's Mr. Guts, he's so the best, though. Hooah! Bend my medals upon my chest. They die for their country. 200 years later, they're still willing to die for the United States. A fission battery would be good, but we don't have the space. And we're 30 minutes into this episode, so to Tenpenny we go, and then Robco Production Facility, I think. Can Mentats up your science? Because we need 50 science to do the optional perk. We want to do all the optional perks to get the massive, to get the maximum, um, passive buffs. I'm going to clean up your badge tomorrow, Adam, by the way. I've got that on my school list for tomorrow as well. I want, that three-month badge needs to look considerably better. Lurk and be back. We love our lurkers, Waffly. Thanks for the lurk. If not, maybe the Deathclaw Sanctuary's got big books of science. That's what we're going to need. Or the science bobblehead. Actually, the science bobblehead would do it for us right now. We may have to get a little more distracted. I can remember where the fuck that thing's at. And then Operation Anchorage. We're going to try to make sure we get Anchorage done tonight. Yes. <laughs> no, it still wants to let us repair it. That's weird. And we have the metal armor, too. Okay, so we can't repair it. We did all that work and we can't repair it. That's okay. At least we know. At least now we know. And apparently we can't repair our... Our lucky sunglasses, either. Weapons. Take this shit. Probably not too much here, Steel Saw. Alright, we're gonna use that to repair our man opener. We can add very little, though. That Steel Saw is pretty much dead itself. I've been granted Verm 2 patch. Uh, the new Verm 2 patch 1.21 went live today. Tell me about this new patch, Adam. Does it give you new stuff to grind? I'm hoping for Sea Lion's sake that there's new stuff. To dig into as well. 
That's not bad, but we still need to get it up even higher. You know, should we be carrying the Mesbitron around when we're not going to be doing slaving? I'm thinking no. I think we need to go get a slave collar, too. So we're not going to worry about that until after Anchorage so we don't get distracted. Hey, get rid of all of this. Whoops, we want Nuka-Cola. Gotta put that in the cooler. Get some ice cold Nuka-Cola. Scotch, vodka, whiskey. Oh, another good loot run. Oops, lucky eight ball. We don't want to get rid of that. Bonga, 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 bonga. Good luck at it. Let's get a full eight hours of sleep for that. Good ol' XP. Oh, 106 is living quarters. Vault 106. Alright, where is Vault 106? We gotta get in here. Because what's our science at? We want to get all these little side perks. We want to max out the survival guide so we get the maximum passive benefits. Skills. I think our science is at 40-some. Yep, we need to go get it. Vault 106, here we come. That'll be our episode to get the science bobblehead. Yeah, you can now craft reds, best weapons in the game. A lot of bug fixes, quality of life improvements. Sounds good, damn. Is it a much more optimized now? Did YouTube manage to fix? Ah, it's still fucked, damn. I wonder how long it'll be down. Oh, we've already got Vault 106 found. That is helpful. Oh, good. Everybody gets to run to Twitch. Feel the love, man. I'll be curious. What's all in Vault 106? Still gonna try to do an Operation Icarus tonight. So it might be a close one. As soon as the survival guide is done. Which is what we're working on. Again, these were impressive in 2008. This was extremely fucking impressive. And just like the difference between this and 4, let alone 76. Combat armor. Sweet. 127 pounds. Did we absolutely drop off everything? And are we addicted? Okay, good, no. And 10% bonus XP as well. Alright, entrance. Torn out journal page can be found in the large room book on a table. And coming from the vault door down the stairs to the right, first hallway you encounter. First room on the right. Torn out journal page. This is going to start to tell us the story. There's the books. Very easy. Better sell though. I think Xbox got the patch too. Ooh. I'd have to look into that then. Very hard. Shit. We gotta start leveling up our science. I don't know what clipboards we're able to make. Or not can be found on a large room book on a table with another large room book and a chemistry set. Chemistry set. Have we already passed a chemistry set? That sounds maybe familiar. No, not at all. Science bobblehead should be in here. We'll be using that. To do the optional objective in the Rob Co facility. Holy shit, a flashback scene. Wait, they're all James. Dad? Daddy. Daddy. Beezlebub. Beezlebub, are you okay? I don't think there's a quest that ever takes you to 106, too. This is... It was. It would just be one of those things, it's late at night, and you're exploring. 
the wasteland, the capital wasteland of Fallout 76, and you stumble upon a vault one day, and some freaky shit starts to go down. Fallout 3 both keeps itself more true to the survival game mechanics, and there's more horror mechanics. Just look how the ghouls look! The ghouls, the storytelling. These guys are like really low level. Yet they are extremely agile and adroit at dodging. My goodness. You guys are impressive. That first one was fun, just slicing his head right off like, yeah, that's what you get. You're dealing with the Antichrist. But the next one, jeez, he's been practicing. Still looking for this torn out journal page. I feel like we stumbled upon it with that chemistry set, but maybe not. Honestly, if Room 2 was crossplay with Xbox, I would buy it on the Xbox. Wow, nice. You must be going hard again then. I want to find this journal page. I want to. I want to see the story. What happened in Vault 106? Uh, got to get that extreme vermin tude. <laughs> it is good though. If you ever try it out, Wilson, if you get bored of ESO and want to break from it sometime, you totally should check out Vermintide. It actually is really good. I went ahead and checked it out on on uh, Adam and Sea Lion's suggestion, and it was fun. I definitely get more hours into it at some point. Seems like it's up your alley too, since you're a ESO guy. Did YouTube tweet out what the hell happened? This is so odd. What are we missing? Where is this torn out journal page? Whoa, another flashback. Dad? Dad? Freaky. Look how rich I bought it. Oh, large room book. Here's the chemistry set. Where's the journal page? What the fuck happened in Vault 106? Why are we having flashbacks? The board. Supposed to be a journal page. Where art thou journal page? Uh, it can be found a, under a large room book on a table with another large room book and a chemistry set. One of the side rooms. Oh wait. Under, under, under. There you go. There we go, stream. They hid this. They hid this well again. No quest would take you here, and you would have to stumble upon the journal page. Vermin Tide 2 for $30 has a lot of depth uh, and a big endgame just for being. Yeah, I mean, and the Left 4 Dead Club, that even seems critical. It seems like so so much of its own thing. I agree with you, though, Adam. Yo, hey, Miss Parker! Thank you for being here, Parker. How'd the car repair go? How's cools? How's the new job treating you? For some reason, Dave, the. For some reason today, the air is different. I can't quite place it, but the air tastes a little blue, I guess. As weird as that sounds, the air tastes blue. Blue like my suit. That kind of rhymes. Weird. Weird beard. <laughs> I always kind of, I always wanted to be a beatnik, but the pants were too tight. Weird shit going down in Vault 106. Again, no quest would take you here. You've got to stumble upon this shit late at night. Whoa, stumble upon a very well-hidden journal page. I mean, this would freak you out. Dad? Especially since Dad's dead at this point. Ew, a Parker. Look at that. Parker getting some love. Parker being well received. How are them hours coming along, too, Parker? Exclamation mark. Yen! I saw Adam's almost to 1,500 hours. Oh, that's impressive. 
But I know that you were in the running and had been top five multiple times before. If you guys want to see our top five updated, I've been updating it almost every time we go live. We got Tyrell, we got Benjamin, we got Matt, we got Justin, we got Adam. Adam, you're in the top five, by the way, on uh, on the Exodus 2.0, so GG to you. I uh, don't know why you just call me Mama Adam, but all right. Did I call you Mama? Because I'm sad and lonely. I need a Mama. Vault 106 is making me feel very alone. Damn, you have almost 400 hours, Sig. Holy shit. I didn't realize you were so far up there. God damn. God damn. Alright, uh, let's try to found this. Now we need to go living quarters. Living quarters is also where we'll find the science bobblehead, which is why we're here to begin with. Looks like they're this way. Why don't we set our own marker? That'll help us. Though so I think we're heading the right way. Yeah, let's just remove it. Oops. Okay, copy an Akula Tesla and you. We want that. That's energy weapons. We want to find the mystery. What happened in Vault 106? Are you okay? Where? He's most fucking definitely not okay. Where? Ah. Ah. No. Holy shit, we just hit level 20. Nice. We could just take our science all the way up, but we're here now. Either way, I'll go 45, so it feels a little better when we do it. Energy weapons, explosives, that's the next big two trees we need to get down. And science. I'm going to start, let's do 50-50. There. Okay. Explore. When you choose the Explorer perk, every location on the map is revealed to your map. I don't like this one because... Because, 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 we can just do that on our own. And then it becomes a useless perk. It was his night in the barrel. Yeah, the sex barrel woman. Damn, Parker! Now, give us almost 1,300 hours. A billion yen. <laughs> uh, tell us about the car, how the repairs go, and how it cools. You kill a target in bats, all your exploits are restored. That's interesting. The ninja perk grants you the power of the fabled shadow warriors. When attacking with either melee or unarmed, you gain a 15% critical chance on every strike. Sneak attacks. Sneak attack criticals do 25% more damage than normal. More than likely where we're going. Explosive. With each drink of this perk, your explosive weapons do an additional 20% damage. We definitely want to start going down that too. We need one more charisma. Damn. We were always going to do that and we never did get it. You've been pushed around long enough. Blah, blah, blah. Life giver. Wow, we should have been getting the bobbleheads. We would have had so many more options. We only have 10 more levels that we can do. Agility 6. Fuck, we need to go get the bobbleheads. You've made permanent enhancements to your body. The cyber perk instantly adds 10% damage, poison, radiation, resistance to 10% to 10 points to energy, weapon, skills, light step. Never set off enemy mines or floor based traps. Master Trader. Still so many skills that we just haven't been able to reach because our special skills haven't been high enough. The better critical perks you get a 50% damage bonus every time a critical score is hurt. That's really helpful. We were able to reach a lot of these on our good character though. Uh, with Custard, you're actually to hit anybody if VATS increases. With Infiltrator, if a lock is broken, you can't normally be picked again. You can attempt to pick it again one more time. Yeah, blah. I mean, again, that's just as easy as saving and quitting. Solar powered with night power could be good. You sleep deeply no matter what. You get a well-rested benefit of 10% XP for 8 hours no matter what bed you sleep in. That's fine, but once you hit level 30, blah. Puppies! With Puppies Perk, if dog meat dies, you'll be able to get a new canine companion from his litter of puppies. Just wait for a bit, you'll find your new furry friend waiting outside 
Vault 101. Quantum chem Chemist. You've unlocked the secret to creating Nuka-Cola Quantum. With this brick, every 10 Nuka-Colas in your inventory is immediately converted into a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Immediately. Like, okay, you gotta be kinda hit. And then these skills, these Karmic Rebalance is what we're gonna use for the end. All stats that are less than 5 are instantly increased to 5. We're gonna go Ninja. Probably gonna get Paralyzing Palm next. We need to continue to try to go for the bobbleheads with the time we have. There we go, we got Scourge of Humanity. At least we got one achievement tonight. You see how fucking well hidden that is? A bunch of shit in here is extremely well hidden. And again, you would never come here unless you were just exploring, so it just feels like kind of a late game dungeon. That's another one of the many reasons I really enjoy Fallout. That's just well thought out. They weren't just, the devs weren't just giving it to you. They figure, okay, if you're in Vault 106, you're probably running low on shit to do. So we're going to make this one tricky for you. Okay, Nikula Tesla. The sign spotlight is located left diagonally across from where you first enter. Cross the short catwalk on your left. Turn right to a hall... Turn right to a hallway next to the classroom. Open the door. Turn right. Open the second door. Short hallway. We're going the right way. Thought I heard something. Where? The thing about the Deathclaw Gauntlet, super high crit chance. Combine that with Ninja. It just feels like we're going to get crits for days now. So we're starting to get more powerful, which is what we need because his overlords are so tanked out. Hey, there it is. That's why we came here to begin with. A poem entitled Scribbles is found on the table with a monitor on it near the entrance to the overseer's office. All right, let's go find that. Oops. What happened in Vault 106 is the mystery we are now trying to get to the bottom of stream. Now we're going to finish up the survival guide. I am going to still get the endurance bobblehead. Then we're going to do Operation Anchorage. Very least we're going to start on it. I've heard it's not that long of a DLC, so I think we might be able to do it. May have to sacrifice some sleep in the process, but hey. Beauty is pain, as they say. This is the overseer's office. Usually it's up. Another note on the ground in front of the locked average door south in the local map. I'll be able to grab some of those uh, Rad X. This is not that pre-war money. Cigarettes. All good stuff to sell if we get desperate. How much caps do we have to? 5,000. We did do a lot of slaving there for a while. A lot of murder, too. Pre-war money. Frag mine. Shotgun shells, camera, all good stuff. Guard, shotgun shells, better save. Oh, here's the... We don't want to break bobby pins. We have very few now. Better save again. Science lab, shit. Now we're going back. I'm looting everything I can loot in here first. We must reach the end of the mystery.
Whoa, holy shit. Another flashback. Damn. This is cool. To me. Your brain soft works. This place is great. I think it's time to accept the new and embrace this change. Relax. Oh, yeah? Me. Another note to me. Come on. Don't you like it better here? Breathe deep. In the blue. Relax. You're better than this, Damien. You have a mission to complete. Please read me. Seriously, this place has everything we need. Enjoy it while we're here. Fine. Be that way. I have nothing more to say to you. We're through here. Okay. Be that way. Break the spell, Damien. Ugh. Where were we? What terrible places did we go while we were high? with his head living quarters are huge They're pretty big oh another flashback what the fuck what happened where'd they go hey where'd you people go Damn, once you break it, it doesn't seem to come back. I thought maybe we'd get to see where they went. This place is weird. Over here! Where? Ah. That guy must have been pretty high level. 33 XP. <clears throat> he took three hits on the samurai sword, too. Lots of beds. Still don't find this note though. A poem entitled Scribbles is found on the table with a monitor on it near the entrance to the overseer's office. Suppose we should be looking for the overseer's office then, huh? Entrance, science labs, science labs. Weird. Where are we? We're in the living quarters. Yeah, okay. That's where we're supposed to be. So one of these hallways is gonna lead to the overseer's office. These look like the dorms. Mail dorm. Feel the love, man. A note downstairs in the left room of the mail dorms. Alright. Empty safe. Very little to pick over here. Here we go. Feel the love, man. Oh, man. I just had to get my thoughts on paper, man. Otherwise, the cat in my head forgets, man. The sky is as blue as it used to be. I'm so happy to be here, and my roomies are flailing around in the love mist. I can't remember what I was doing before, but man, is it great here now. I never thought about it like this before, but the walls just need somebody to love, too, man. Fuck. Anyone who gets this, another note on the ground in front of the locked average door south in the in the local map. In the south local map. In front of the locked average door. Hmm. Wonder where that could be, huh? Hmm. Very interesting. Here's the dorms. These people have been on drugs for a long time, still managing to reproduce. There's still people in here. Maybe they're like raiders who have stumbled in here though and just like decided to stay. But it says Vault Insane Survivors, so I mean they had to keep having babies somehow to get to this point.
Oh, here it is. To anyone who gets this. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, everyone just started acting strange. The overseer told us to lock ourselves into our room and wait until security gets the riffraff under control. So that's what I'm doing. I managed to catch the security chief on his way past. Where is he? Oh yeah, and apparently the weirdos are so out of their head, they can't read. So if you're not affected, say the word Benzini, and I'll let you in. Benzini, let us in. See how long she managed to make it for. Maybe she did okay. Nope, she died. How the hell did the others manage to keep reproducing? Fuck. Uh-oh. I'm thinking about saving. We don't have many bobby pins left. I'm gonna have to save. Gonna have to save. Oh man. Oh wait, it was to the left side the whole time. Damn. Buff out. Oh that, that wasn't even that great. They die as lovers, kind of, maybe friends. Oh, a child skeleton? That's fucking dark. Though it's clearly just a downsized adult skeleton. There's the skull and Still, that's pretty dark. Okay, uh, to anyone who gets this, scribbles by the overseer's office door. We've got to find the overseer's office. Looks like it's probably to the left. As we come up here, we turn right. Like down the male dorm somehow. But it seems like there's no path out of the male dorm, so... There isn't. Okay, well this is straight on. Uh, but if you tenderize... Not quite yet, D. Not quite yet. By the way, I heard you were being an asshole in the whispers, man. What's up with that? Why were you fighting with people, D? Alright, let's go straight ahead, maybe? Or hell, it's probably up here, isn't it? Rip. Forgot how big this place was. Probably over here somewhere. The overseer's office is almost always up. I fight with people a lot. If I haven't said I have many issues, so don't bring it up. If anyone wants to know. I'm in vault uh, 1060. We came here to get the science bobblehead before we do the last part of the Robco. Or the last part of the survival guide. Where is his door? Yes, Vault 106. You got kicked out of the gym today because you high-fived your friend? Where do you work out at? The, uh, the fitness factory place with the lunk alarm? I mean, that seems so dumb. You need help with the bobblehead? I just got it. I just got it. Thanks, though. Okay. Oh, wait. It was right here. The whole... F no. That's not it. What are we missing? It's been this way. It's this little section right here. Oh, 
Have we been over here? Oh, it's Lart Hard. Save. We have very few bobble heads yet. I guess I was being disrespectful. This sounds dumb as shit, man. Nice. That's exciting, D. Hopefully you enjoy it, man. Not very long now. Only a week. Exactly one week. And we will get to start on the beta. Oh, yeah. We're going to run out of Baba. We're going to run out of Bobby pins. And we're going to have to start saving and quitting. We're out of lock picks, not for long. I got in trouble and got detention for faring for farting in class. Could you really help it? Could you have held the fart in or I mean that's Ooh. I couldn't have, but then he probably don't deserve detention. Got it. All right, a poem entitled, ooh, another flashback. Very hard, damn. Whoa, it was the overseer, that's cool. Still very hard, holy shit. This really is a late game, like, this are, would look so much better if they were animated or if they just went ahead and blacked them out. Stumble upon this shit if you like to just delve into the mystery. Apparently from what the dicks in my group said, I forced them out, so I was written up. That sucks. Become armor. Ah. Yeah, you vacuum cleaner, sure. We can drop it if we run out of room, which we probably will. Okay, Scribbles is found on a table with a monitor on it near the entrance to the Overseer's office. Let's go back. We want to reach the bottom of this mystery. What has happened here? Oh, here. Scribbly, biblity, hoodly hoo. Wing, wang, bricka, bang, choo, choo. Upside, inside up, popsicle, tastes like blue. Ghost in the hall go boo, boo, boo. That certainly helped us get to the bottom of this mystery. I think that solves it. Case closed, stream. Yeah! I'm too much of an addict to Fallout games. Oh, by the way, it's not what the story is. is there is... Too much of an addict to follow games. Oh, yeah? You play any other games, D? How do we not run into old bathrooms? Well, they've got to have good loot, right? Negative. Alright, um, yeah, that's that's literally spoiling it. <laughs> that's literally spoiling it. That's why I didn't read it out loud. If you're watching these on YouTube, if you've never seen Vol 106, and there may very well be, we have to assume somebody will probably watch these on YouTube. They might want to see the mystery unravel here in the vault themselves. What would be the fun in playing it if they just knew? That's why we're picking through the loot. I always share uh, a whole video about this vault and what happened. Oh, that's cool. Wait, you would share a whole video or you watch one? There's a really good guy named Oxfam. I don't know if he's a good guy. I don't know him in real life, but he's a good YouTuber. He does a lot of lore stuff. He does a good time present. He does a really good job of presenting in a dramatic way these little stories. He'll make it seem like he in real life actually ran across this vault and stumbled across the mystery. And those YouTube videos do really well, too. Really well. His Fallout 4 YouTube videos are huge. Watched. That's cool. 
Was it Oxfam? Because I know he does a lot of lore stuff. Looking for the science lab. I think we kind of keep getting off target somehow. It seems so close, yet it's so far away. Oh my god. We're gonna find it. This episode should wrap up nicely with the mystery of Vault 106. should look for the drug lab instead, no doubt. <laughs> what time do you gotta be on the road tomorrow, Steven? And do you drive your truck to your house, or do you go and, like, pick it up from, like, the warehouse? That's gonna be a dead end. Back up. We back up. It looks like on this floor. Straight ahead. Wait, can we turn right here? Looks like it might lead to another dead end, though. Holy shit, this place is not that complicated, but yet... I have a terrible sense of direction, so it is. Let's just head up this hall. I don't like that it goes upstairs back. Remember, you're D. Wolf's the grandma Steven. I know him in real life. He's a real life friend of mine. We've known each other since we were little kids. So he's Steven. I call you D. Welcome back, K Waffle. Thank you for that Nexus cat hype. I start at 7 a.m. I park at my operating center terminal at Obits. Only about 30 minutes away from home. My truck would never make it down my street with people parking on both sides. Right on. And it's 7 a.m. And then you gotta make another trip. You go from... What is it again? You go from... Tennessee... To Texas... To Louisiana and back to Ohio. All right, Mr. Pizza. And let's let's hear the story of this username you made seven years ago, Mr. Pizza. <laughs> I'm glad we, I'm glad we had an opportunity to use this. That you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much. You can you call me Mr. Pizza. And so we shall. Uh, it's on a science lab level from copy of Telmas today, which we really don't need. But still. It's straight down the corridor, passing an open doorway. Take the stairs to the right. It's the first door on the right after the stairs. Past the first open doorway. Past the stairs. First doorway on the right. Oh shit. These fucking guys are, like, way too good at- Okay. Fine. You know what? Fuck you. You, you go live your life, alright? I don't care about you. Uh, da-da-da-da. From Obitz to Lima, Ohio, then to Texas, then Texas to Louisiana, Louisiana back to Ohio. Woo! And then you get Monday and Tuesday off and finally get to take a shower again. How soon until you've earned the credits necessary to be able to take a shower while you're on the road? You're gonna go drink out of the toilet, no doubt. Well, the story is I was really addicted to pizza. When I was nine, so much, I wanted everything to be named pizza or something to do with pizza. So I came up with Mr. Pizza. Let's put that in the quotes. Let's remember that for fucking ever. I think that this is important, D. I think this might even be important to the history of humanity. If you guys want to know the story of Mr. Pizza's email, Mr. Pizza, it's because he fucking loved pizza. All this week. Nice. You got the tokens? Poke him with the sword. Okay. Almost today. Uh, Mini Nuke is in the final room in the science lab area, just past the Vault 106. Right? Ooh, there's a survivor. But again, how? Because we're 
2076, the bombs drop. What year are we in? I can't see it right now, but I think we're like 100 years later. These people have to keep having babies. There's no first generation people down here. I think we're 200 years. Or I feel up. Sweet. That's good. Alright, fuck you. See ya. Um, hey now, that's my username in a sentence. My name's Kayla. I like waffles. K waffly nice. There we go. We'll call you Miss Waffles. Well, you're Mrs. Waffles. You're married with a kid. Shit. Shit. There are two Vault 106 Master Keys which open the door to the Overseer's office. Oh, we already cracked that lock. Only Ego Waffles are good. Those are pretty good, though. Who are you? Wait, who, who the fuck are you? Talk to me. You're like that fucking Blamco guy with the Wonder Me. Why don't you talk to me? Let's discuss how you survived this shit. Or not. Fine. Whoa. What? Oh, it's the Tunnel Snakes! Tunnel Snakes forever! Holy Max dead. We've come a long way since the tunnel snacks. Kick ass. Ooh. Success. Now tell me your story. Really? Do you not have a story to tell? Oh, that's brutal. Mr. Pizza, I always knew the tunnel snake secretly took drugs. Oh, no doubt about it. They had a corner on the market. Um, the homemade pipe and hot waffles covered in syrups. I don't have a sweet tooth. Oh, man. I gotta go with waffly on that one, Steven. Definitely the syrup. Syrup goes good on freaking everything. Ooh, mini nuke. There we go. Here we go. Alright, we did it. In one episode, we successfully looted the waste of Vault 106 and whatever the hell detestable things occurred in here. Stomach in your teeth, huh? That's weird. I wonder what's in syrup that it does that to you. Are you buying, like, the natural syrup, or are you buying, like, the ones that are full of high fructose and all that dextrose and all that shit? Rip. That's okay. We have this. I miss the Oblivion skill of having a skeleton key. That is such an underestimated perk. Well, most people know it's good, but I underestimate it as in, why isn't it here? Why? Uh, there you go. I tried it for you, Mr. Pizza. After the bombs fell, you're 180 years after the bombs fall. You get the age of 19, which is 200 years after the bombs fell. Okay, so people had to be having babies in here. We'll throw in some hard accusations down. Or statements, whatever. I don't eat breakfast. Damn. You should eat breakfast, though. How do you do that? My parents went to Canada like two weeks ago. Canadian syrup is just... Natural syrup. Good good man, Gilbert. Good man. This can't do sweet things anymore. Like, not even ice cream? Shit. That's fine. I was thinking about reloading anyways, because I would hate to have only one. It's nice to have at least three attempts at it before we have to reload every time. Got him! Except lunch. I mean, the way I define breakfast is just the first meal of the day.
shit, it was close. And that's not every meal. That's a good point, Waffly. That's a good point. This is with your hunger. Like, you won't get hungry at all, Steven, or? Got it. Oh, man. Our last few lockpicks all for 32 microfusion cells. Shit. What'd you guys do in here? I have a mass sacrifice. Okay. Mini nuke, got it. One vault, one of six master keys. There's another one at the bottom of the shelf in the storeroom behind the one where you fight the... This key is actually a red pass card, although it looks normal. You can't see the message when hovering. Okay. Bottom shelf of the storeroom behind the one where you fight the... Behind the one. So it's not this one, I'm assuming, is what they're trying to say? No, that's it right there. But you can't grab it, so... Oh, well. Where's the other one? One can be found next to a functional computer terminal in the north northwest corner of a room in the living quarters. That is only accessible through the science labs. Alright. Yeah, if I eat breakfast, I won't be hungry later in the day. I'm odd. Like, you won't have dinner at all? Must have a really slow metabolism. And a glass of milk. <laughs> Breakfast is the first meal of the day, serving in certain names way. What, Mr. Pizza? What is this about pizza? No dinner, huh. Interesting. Alright, episode's stretching out. You guys are still fucking running around. I thought you were done. I thought you didn't want to fight. I thought this was useless. Well, I'll take that. Since unbeknownst to us, you could repair the samurai sword the whole damn time. It's a SpongeBob reference. Oh shit. Whoops. Ew. It's a quote. It goes breakfast the first meal of the day, serving it, then you say it that person's name. Bob sucks. Ouch. Let's just get out of this vault. Do we really need a master key? Look what we have here. Good, you're listening to the president. At least you're not completely crazy. You've got some sense left. Sense enough to listen to the president. Now, these people are still kind of like making it in a weird way. Does this mean Vault 106 is one of the more successful vaults? 200 plus years later, there's still people here. Alright, apparently we need to get into that door because that will have a unique item because there's only one way to get into that door and that's from this location. Must be right above us. Shit. I miss A. Honor. That show was great. I agree. Mr. Pizza says, who the hell got that reference? I thought no one would. I'm pretty sure something did. Something gets a lot of references. He's good like that. Football head. Stoop kids getting off his stoop! Huh. Weird. Find this alternate door and we've completely cleansed this place out. I have to go to bed. Good luck with the stream. Yo, Gilbert, thank you for that. Gilbert, you funded the war against the pink two bits. Thank you for that, sir. I appreciate it, man. Gilbert. You have a good night. You have a great night. You have a super night. A fantastic night. A superior night. 
a fabulous night, an excellent night, a good night. Gilbert, you have a good night. Thank you for being here, dude. Thanks for them bits. Yes, let's do it again. Let's do her again. Who did I block? Uh, you probably blocked something, the one who got your reference. Because I think you were, like, berating him in whispers for whatever reason. You know, he's like a fucking nuclear engineer, chemical engineer. You probably missed out on a good friend there. He's actually a great guy. <laughs> you shithead. <laughs> I'm out of here, buddy. Make it to play next weekend. Sounds good. Sounds good, Steven. Whoops. I appreciate you coming in here and hanging out the last couple days. And yesterday, you dropped that bit bomb, too, dude. Be safe. Safe travel, Steven. You have a nice night. You have a good night. A super night. A superior night. A fine night. A fantastic night. An excellent night. A good night, Steven. You have a good night. Thank you for hanging out. Be safe. Have a good week at work. Later, dude. Later. Oh, there it is. The master key is ours. Urgent security notice. Hey, I think we're finally going to get to the bottom of the mystery. Today at 1530, we are initiating control sequence 462A. We are unsure of the full effects of the gas release, so we request that anyone receiving this message, message head to their designated locations as noted in your C-11 form. The assigned locations were chosen for the cover and safety they provide, so do not vacate them unless dire circumstances arise. Remember to handle anyone acting abnormally according to the guidelines provided, and most importantly, immediately call for medical assistance. We thank you for your assistance during this brief test and assure you that the control is non-lethal and will be cleared from the air before 1600. 200 years later, the shit's still in the air. Damn. Time to get the hell out of Vault 106. Back to Tenpenny Tower, we'll record another episode. Drop off our loot. We got a science bubble head now, so we're off to Robco. Let's have a waffle, yes. <laughs> of course, we already knew that because Mr. Pizza informed us, so. All right. Good looting. We got our science up, which was the goal. Let's get upstairs. Where's the upstairs stairs? Where's the stairs for the upstairs stairs? Here we go. Oh, 106. Entrance. Later, haters. You mean French toast? French toast. Fantastic, Barbarian. That's where I'm, I'm at that. I'm with you on that one. French toast. Waffly, do you like French toast? That's the shit right there. And I can't believe Steven doesn't like syrup, because holy shit, syrup. That shit goes good on everything. I will end you, she says. I will end you. Not having any more of this shit, she says. I'm done with it. I'm fucking done, baby. I do love French test though, dude. It's good. It's good. That's some tasty stuff. Alright. As per usual, our simple goals keep expanding into massive goals. Enemies nearby. This is a spawn for giant ass rat scorpions. Holy shit. And they do some serious fucking damage. Well, here, I'll drink some dirty water. 
And this so ends, well, we'll do the basics. We'll travel to ten penny. Simple goals equal massive goals. Massive goals equal giant ass red scorpions. Holy shit, Mr. Pizza, that's true. Maybe your best thing so far. Who did I block? I actually forgot. I actually forgot. Um, yeah, she told you. She whispered it to you. She sent you a thing. How many people did you block? Are you not seeing anybody in chat, Mr. Pizza? New compound jet. Hey, look at that. We now have like 7,000 jets. Misk. That was another good loot run, actually. Plenty of good crafting material. We should probably convert our love pit into a raider pit to more... Bit what our character does and is deposit our science bobblehead hey we're getting there put all our nuka colas away whoops add some apparel i wonder if we can use the comp